Hey there guys, how's it going? It's uh, May 24th today. Um, nicely got up to the North Farm, Ashton and I did. We're just trying to get settled in here, uh, trying to do a little burn off here before seeding. I don't know how much rain we got. It's, it was a stupid amount of rain. It was, it was ridiculous. Anyway, um, there's water everywhere. Water trickling out of the fields, running out of everywhere. Totally opposite issue than back home. Back home or drier than a popcorn fart up here, you can float away and you can just kind of tell that uh, there's lots of water around. You can clearly see. Um, it's underneath all the waters around these trees. Uh, we farmed all the way up to those trees. Obviously that's not normal. Those trees would be dead. They would get drowned out. Um, water is just kind of trickling out the fields, kind of all over the place. You can see uh, I went through here with a pro till. Um, brought our pro tail out here and I was just trying to do a little fine tuning on a few fields and uh, So obviously I'm in a red sprayer. Yeah, and I got a Viper 4 beeping at me here But uh, it's because we're kind of sitting still and it doesn't really like that and uh, so on and so forth uh, Here I'll just put down the ladder here Idle back a little bit and we'll uh, take a little walk through um, so basically, it's just a 4440. It's a K sprayer 2019. I got two of them, one for here, one for back home, and uh, got their tank stretched up to uh, 1650. And I think they're 2019s with a few hundred hours on them. Uh, this one has small tires, 620s. I think this one has on it. The one back home is 650s. Uh, the one back home will get 710s, and this one is also going to get 710s as well. Uh, the one back home has a full LED light package. This one has the yellow candle smellos up there on the cab. I do not know who orders a $600,000 sprayer and is like, you know what? That last $500 worth of lights, yeah. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. Like, obviously, no one does any spraying at night, so <laughs> you don't have to put LED lights on there. <laughs> Oh, that's the sad truth. Anyways, I'm getting it all upgraded. I got aftermarket LEDs coming from the nose. Uh, I'm getting uh, LEDs for the cab and the side of the tank and so on and so forth. So uh, we will be able to see at night because you can't see crap with halogen lights at night. Like, huh? can't even imagine because uh, we do most of our spraying at night. I don't I, Last I checked, most people do, which just boggles my mind. It shouldn't even be an option. Halogen lights should not even be an option on these things. It should just come standard with LED. You're spending a half a million dollars. You don't even get the option there, fella. It is LED, guaranteed. That's how it should be, but uh, yeah. And then back here at the boom, um, this one does not have the upgraded uh, XRT auto boom. I think it's XRT or XRT or TRE or whatever it is. Uh, the Trident does. I got two leakies here. I'm gonna have to do something with. This is actually my first load out with this thing, so. Uh, I see. I got the um, uh, put research kit on. I don't know why I tapped the Raven controller when I did that, but anyway, I should come over here, put a research kit on. Not the Raven. I can't remember the name of it right now. It starts with an A. Air, air egg, or something, or something like that. So, uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. It's a case 4440. I've had case sprayers for years and years and years. Although, I do like having the wheels as a backup. Even though our Trident has the new auto boom, and yes, it is a lot quicker than the uh, this older version, I really do miss the wheels. Everybody misses the wheels because you go through a washout maybe a little bit too fast, and even that faster auto boom still can't keep up. And then you're gonna smack your boom right here because there's no wheel. Love the wheels. I do not know why we do not put those wheels on our booms, even though. Don't ask me why we haven't done that yet. So enough about the sprayer, it's pretty straightforward. Let's start talking about how the crap we're gonna get any seed in the ground up here. So realistically though, we probably lost about 25% of the ground. And uh, we are gonna find out, well, we're not gonna find out. I was gonna say, we're gonna find out once we start spraying it, but I'm gonna go busting right through all that. So uh, all this wet stuff that I would have to probably go around with the drill, uh, I'm gonna go right through with the sprayer and yes, you can shut it off But you're not gonna shut your sections off going through this white or wh white. Oh my goodness. I gotta get more sleep uh, This washout You're not gonna shut your sections off going through that little muddy washout. You're not gonna do that Maybe if you go through this hunk of water you will But uh, so obviously I don't know how I'm gonna see that we're gonna try and see that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I guess I'm literally just kind of 
yeah, you get the idea. Let's go spraying, eh? Yeah, let's just go spraying. All right, let's go. Yes, we're gonna go right through this, and we're gonna we're gonna go slow so we don't get our sprayer dirty here. You guys know I don't like getting stuff dirty. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this thing beeping at me for? Hold on, hold on. You know, there is always something, isn't there? Raven rate controller. I'm gonna mute this thing. It's spraying just fine. some mud here. There we go. I muted that monitor for right now. We're going to have to cross this. There's an island over there. You know, oh, I'm committed. I'm committed. Okay, we're going to speed up a little bit. This is a little soft in here. Oh, there's another island over there, but I can't get in there. I just, oh, that's, that's risky. Risky business when you got a full load on. The trees are just coming into to leaf and it's the end of May nearly. Gotta go around another slough. And there's another island right over there on the other side of that slough. Oh my word. Like we're definitely not getting an 84 foot drill in here. Then why are you spraying it, Mike? Because I don't want it to grow to weeds. Maybe I can come back. basically just kind of painting here. I have uh, individual nozzle control for our uh, sectional control. So it's very accurate. There we go. Uh, dare I try that? I know that's alkali in there or definitely soft. I don't know. I'm not going to. There's an approach off there of the highway I guess I could come in on. I have to boom out for one acre. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna try to get to this island. Up over here. I'm here now. I've already gone through the mud, I don't wanna get it dirty again, but. Oh shoot, mistakes are made, this is soft. I gotta let you guys go. Oh, actually, we made it out of there. I definitely miss the 710s. The 710 tires definitely give you way more floatage than a 620. And we are we are waiting on those. I think they might come tomorrow even. Okay, how is this going to work? You know what? We're not even going to try and get over there. We're just going to bust through this. Oh, this is hurt. This hurts me, you guys. I'm the kind of person that buys a side-by-side -side a Maverick, uh, I can't remember, RC Turbo, and I do not like getting them dirty. They sit very clean in their uh, nice heated garage. Typically, you would control that right boom a lot better. I would run it right close, especially if we were ever risking burning anything, which we're not. Those are just trees, and believe me, you can't kill them with this stuff. But I'm holding you guys, so. Oh, this looks muddy in here, too. It is muddy. It isn't just, it looks muddy, it is actually very muddy. 
gonna be no night seating up here, I can tell you that. all the way through the field. We're gonna have to try to see through that stuff, I think. This is the field that we painted all the deadheads on. Remember we were hunting deadheads? Did we get them dug out? No, we sure did not. I was uh, talking with uh, the same guy that dug our dugout, and he was gonna come dig them out, but then he kinda got a little busy, and then I got busy seating back home, and then so what, what am I, what am I going to do? I guess I'll see right back over them. I'll let, I'll just uh, be careful though. I'll back the pressure down on my drill. There's the rest of that water just running through this field. Oh, this is going to be a mud hole. I don't know why it went in here. See what I'm saying? That you're spraying and calculating acres, but you're not going to be able to do that with a drill. Another water run. This is one of the driest fields I got you guys. Isn't that something? Here's another water run. And there's another water run. This field is cut up with water runs. And they're all running water. <laughs> Oh man, this little dip is a little wet. Yep. Oh, would you look at There's another water run. Two more water. Oh, that's too muddy. Like, I just can't see that in there. Like, I just... And there's more water. Oh, there's a stake. You guys probably can't see that. I can't zoom in because I can't do this. Too many things, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cut through here. Wow. I don't know what, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, then there's another water run with water going through it. Oh, here's another water run with water going through it. What are you spraying for, buddy? Uh, volunteer canola, kosher weed, and some volunteer uh, cereals with some wild oats. Oh, there's another water run. This is muddy. Oh, yeah. Like, really, I probably shouldn't even be spraying this and just come back after a week. But they're forecasting more rain, so... I've got some serious decisions I gotta make here. Either I try and mud in a crop, or maybe I won't. 
and the seating deadlines are coming up. Like we are just about June already. And another water run, and another water run. That's where we started, right here in the corner. We've made one round, you guys. We've made one round. Spinny, spin, spin here, there we go. Take a look at this from an area aerial view here. So that's a quarter. Used to be a quarter. This is that great big slough that's all underwater over there. That's all water. This here is also uh, a slough. This is that other slough. You guys didn't maybe you weren't with me when we went around that slough. Well, I guess it is what it is, and it's all like awesome, clear as mud, no pun intended. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> all right, see you guys later. Adios.